Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and Merry Christmas. I'm so grateful to be able to be spending another Christmas with you guys. I am just so thankful for you guys and you guys are the best Christmas gift that I could ask for. So thank you very much. You have made my Christmas. So I thought my gift to you guys would be to finally do another chips and dip mukbang. I know it's been way too long, but I'm finally doing it so it's all good no need to worry anymore <laughs> so the dips I have today this one is a spinach dip I kind of just threw some stuff together so I will write down in the description box what I did and then if it's good I'll let you know and then this is a red velvet brownie batter dip very excited for this it's not really dippable but I'm still excited nonetheless. And for the sweet dip, I have vegan graham crackers and hot cocoa Oreos. And then for the savory dip, I have my favorite chips, spicy sweet chili Doritos. And then I also have some vegan chicken nuggets. These are from the brand Tyson. Not all of Tyson's things are vegan, but they have some vegan chicken nuggets that I haven't tried before and I wanted to try them. So I have those. And then I also have these ratatouille bites. These are from Trader Joe's and they're vegan and i haven't had these either and i really wanted to try them so i have those to dip in there as well and i also have some more hot cocoa it's christmas i had to Ooh, that's really good and then i also i'm doing a q a for today so i will be answering your guys's questions but first let's jump into the food I'm gonna start with the graham crackers so I can get like a base flavor of the dip. You'll have to let me know what you guys got for Christmas or your favorite part of Christmas. Yeah, this is not dippable. Oh no! <laughs> it was when I was making it, but I guess it kind of like hardened up. I think the beet, I added beet powder to make it red velvet. I think that just made it really crumbly. But that's so good, oh my gosh. Mm. This is a crisis. But it's so good. Okay, I guess I better try some Oreos in it. Actually, I'm going to try one of these plain first because I haven't had them before. Honestly, it kind of just tastes like an Oreo. Mm -mm. There we go.
Yeah, you definitely need some sturdy Oreos for this. I think next time I might just add more liquid. I don't know. First question is from identity crisis underscore zero one. They asked if you, ooh, this one's good. How did y'all celebrate Christmas in China? So, if you guys didn't know, I used to live in China and I'm already making a mess all over myself. They don't really, at least when we lived there, there wasn't much holiday celebration for Christmas. I mean there was but there wasn't. I felt like in our neighborhood there was just nothing but then you would go to the store and they had all these Christmas decorations. Kind of gave me whiplash. <laughs> but I mean it was pretty ordinary and honestly it was really magical there. I don't know why there was just this aspect there that made it more magical for me. I don't know but we had a Christmas tree. We had stockings. We would wake up Christmas morning and run into the living room because we lived in an apartment so well actually we went into our parents room first and we would talk about Christmas and kind of gathered ourselves and just really remembered to be grateful for everything that we have and everything that we were going to get then we would go into the living room or wherever the Christmas tree was and we would each have a big Santa gift and then our stockings that were on the couch and then we would have presents under the tree and there were extra candy canes from Santa and it was just, it was just so magical and I miss it. There's not much of a difference other than the fact that we have stairs here. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try a chicken nugget. Tyson. Whoa. That's a good nugget. Mmm. Mmm, that's a really good nugget. Now for a bite of bite. Ooh. Wow. So those nuggets are probably a 9 out of 10. They're pretty good. These are a 10 out of 10. I would give them a 15 out of 10 if I could. Oh my gosh. I just want to eat those. Okay. Let us try this dip. I'm really excited because this has water chestnuts in it. And I love water chestnuts. And it was so, so easy to make, so. Mm-hmm. It's really refreshing, but it has a really good flavor too. Because I added this dry soup mix that I got from this market that I went to in Utah. But if I if I can find a picture, I'll put it on the screen. If not, I'll write it down in the description box below. But it's this gluten-free mushroom soup mix. Vegan too, obviously. And that's really good. <laughs> It's a really nice addition. Boom. 
Brian Burney 2866 asked, style of music, do you know grinder death metal, cerebral effusion, CBT, stuff like that. So my music taste is everywhere, I've talked about it before on my channel. I think the closest thing to that that I listen to would probably be my post-hardcore <laughs> songs I used to listen to in high school. So The Amity Affliction, I Loved Bring Me the Horizon, uh, Motionless in White, Asking Alexandria, but yeah. No, I don't listen to them or th that type of music, but if I should get into it, let me know. User slash sneaky rx asked, have a favorite Christmas memory? There are just so many, but I do remember specifically the Christmas I got my violin. That was also, that was in China. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. And then the year I got my iPod, which I still have. And I have so many things on there, so many crazy fictional stories because I used to love writing stories. So many good memories on there. And then also the Christmas that I got my PSP. <laughs> my sister Maylee and I, we both got PSPs one year for Christmas and we would just non-stop play on those. So those are some fun Christmas memories. Mm. One of my favorite Christmas memories here. A few years ago, we went to this thing called the Christmas Express. I actually have a vlog of it on my channel. And that's one of my favorite videos ever because it was our first time going to the Christmas Express. It's pretty much like the Polar Express recreation. But it was, it was so cool. So if you want to go watch that vlog, I kind of show how everything was in that video. It's more like a B-roll type video, so I put music over it, but it was really fun. Ooh, this one's fun. Uh, Melee ASMR eating. I said that so wrong. I'm sorry. But they asked, what is your favorite secret ingredient that you must add in all your dishes, savory dishes? Then they said, my secret ingredient is vinegar and oyster sauce. Oh, that's interesting. For me, either it's probably garlic powder and onion powder. Like, even if there's fresh garlic and onion in the dish, I will add onion and garlic powder anyway. Like this, I just added in onion and garlic powder and a lot of it. It just makes so much of a difference i'm telling you so you have to try it yasmin abdulnor one asked favorite christmas christmas movie i can't pick and favorite christmas snack with it love you i love you too christmas movie that is so hard polar express has to be one of my top favorites elf is a staple it's hilarious i don't know if it's a favorite though um charlie brown christmas is always a staple and It's a Wonderful Life, that's our Christmas Eve movie that we watch every year. Santa Claus movies are always great. Home Alone, those are actually all year round movies for our family, but I love the Home Alone movies. Dang it. All time favorite though, there's this little short movie called Mr. Cougar's Christmas. And we've been watching it since I was a little kid. And I think that that is my favorite just because it is such a beautiful little heartwarming movie. And the guy in it is actually the dad from It's a Wonderful Life. Very good actor. And it's just such a cute little movie. Like I keep saying over and over again. And I love it. And like I said, I've been watching it since I was a kid. So it just really reminds me of Christmas. So probably that one. And favorite snack with it. My dad. Oh my gosh. He... Sorry, I stopped because now I'm kind of thinking that It's a Wonderful Life is my favorite Christmas movie. Well, either way, when we watch that on Christmas Eve, my dad makes this popcorn. He pops it himself and then he adds these spices to it and it's vegan. It's so good. So that's probably my favorite Christmas snack. That or cookies with hot cocoa.
Wolfie Rain 9898 asked, what's a Christmas tradition that you and your family always do during Christmas Day or and or Eve? Uh, Christmas Day, we will always have one person play Santa and they will pick a present for each person. So let's say I was playing Santa, I would go to the Christmas tree and pick out a present for my youngest brother and then go to the next, once he's done opening that, we will all sit there and watch him open it and then once he's done, then I'll move on to the next sibling and we will wait for each other to open our presents so that we can really just be there. We don't go and just open all our presents at once. Plus it makes it take longer and feel like Christmas is lasting longer. Sorry guys, this dip is good, but I'm like so into this one, especially because the ratatouille bites and the nuggets are really good. But I will have more of this, don't worry, it's delicious too. And I really should have brought like a spoon or something. I hope this isn't gross for you guys. My hands are clean, okay? Mmm. This is just really good plain. Sorry, I'm really trying to get to all your questions. Okay, Tara underscore AA asked, do you bring your own food to Christmas gatherings? Yes and no, either I will eat before so I don't have to worry about it. Typically, there are vegan things already there, so maybe I'll eat a little bit before and then I'll have some of the vegan stuff that's there, if that makes sense. Candied Veins 4569 asked, favorite Christmas song? If I'm going to pick one, I'm going to pick probably Jingle Bells by Andy Williams. That song just gets me so hyped for Christmas. Olivia underscore 0018 asked, if you could live in any state in the US, where would you live? Honestly, Nevada, where I am right now, because I can't with the cold and the weather here is just like perfect for my liking. So, Nevada. Tristan Maddie asked, are the other people in your home vegan also? Any chance you will ever do a mukbang with your brothers? I've done mukbangs with my brothers previously in the past, so you can go check those out. And I've answered this before, I'm the only vegan one, but my family loves supporting me and they love eating my vegan food. And I'm so blessed to be able to be able to be vegan and have the support from them. And they're amazing and my favorite people in the world. Callie Faith asked, best flavor of Christmas, like sugar cookie, mint, hot cocoa, etc. Either sugar cookie or like a spice, ginger spice or ginger snap cookie. Love Kuchin, German cookies, those. So good. And if I can think of anything else, I'll put it on the screen. G3M G3M asked, would love to know which other YouTubers you're currently watching or you enjoy or what genres of YouTube do you watch? 
So I'm kind of everywhere with my YouTube watch list, but I love the Takedown Twins. Their videos are some of the best quality videos I've ever seen ever. And they're so fun. They're this dynamic duo that remind me of me and my sister. So I love them. I will go back and rewatch other videos from YouTubers who don't post anymore. Uh, Emma Chamberlain. I know she posts like here and there. But I will go back and watch her older videos because I love them. Mm. I watch Naomi John. I don't know if you guys have heard of her but she's hilarious. Bailey Sarian. She's where I get a lot of my true crime inspiration from. Um... Oh, Loey Lane, I love her videos. Sam and Colby, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot about them. Love Sam and Colby. So, yeah, if I think of any more, I'll put them on the screen. Monty222 asked, how is your house always so quiet when you film? Because you have so many siblings, hehe. <laughs> <laughs> so I typically film when my siblings aren't home because they go to school. So a few of them go to school and then one of them goes to work. So they're usually not even home. That's how I, it stays quiet. <laughs> Angard dash nz 60 w asks, do you make any of your special food for Christmas get-togethers? I would, but typically the get-togethers that I go to are in Utah, and I don't have access to the things that I need in order to make stuff for them. Yeah. Sophia dash q 12 jv asked, how many of your siblings still live at home, and how many have married and moved out? So, I have five siblings, two older sisters, three younger brothers, my two oldest sisters are both married and moved out and then my three younger brothers still live at home two of them are currently going to school and then one of them is working Ah, uh, it's bird person said not a question but i just wanted to wish you and your family a very merry christmas hope you guys eat all the good food wind down play silly games and just have a great time together merry christmas you guys i love you guys so much you guys are i'm so grateful for you guys i'm gonna cry um <laughs> Okay, this is probably going to be my last one. Uh, G3M, G3M, I already answered a question from them, but they said, What do you look forward to most about Christmas? For me, it's the social aspect of it all. I miss seeing everyone once it's all over, and of course, the food traditions. Same. I love the people aspect. Like, being with family and friends is my most favorite thing about it. That's what I get most excited about, and giving gifts to people, I love I love seeing their reactions to the gifts I've given them. Yes, I do love the food too, though. That That's really good. Actually, I was going to have an Oreo, but I kind of just want to eat it plain. Once again, I'm so sorry if this grosses you out, you guys. But yeah, family is my favorite part. And the Christmas music, just being together and having time to spend with one another. Because typically you have work and school. But this is like a nice break to be able to spend with each other.
Mm. Okay. Last bite. Alright you guys, that is the end of this video. I'm sorry if I seemed rushed. I just wanted to get to all the questions that I could and not have this video be too long. So, yeah. I really hope you guys spend time with your family and enjoy some amazing food. Thank you so much for your questions. I love you all so much. Feel free to answer some of these questions yourself and let me know in the comments down below what the answers to the questions are. I love learning more about you guys. Thank you once again. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and if you want to see more. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.